The Hawaii State Ethics Commission is set to take up its first contested case hearing in 27 years. And here's a story that could sound fishy. Did you know that you paid more than $100,000 for a book about fish? Well, our media partners at Civil Beat are following those stories and more. And joining us over Skype is reporter Chad Blair. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Mahea. Happy Cyber Monday. Happy Cyber Monday to you. So let me ask you first, what's the latest on this ethics hearing? Well, it'll be tomorrow in Hilo. It involves a Big Island charter school employee accused of awarding himself lucrative contracts to sell schools back, uh, sell books back to the school, rather, uh, meals. And he also is accused of um, uh, selling thousands of dollars of electronics equipment to the school. The school is located in Hilo. Now, his attorney says this case should not be for the Ethics Commission because, in fact, charter schools are independent. Certainly a significant issue uh, with this hearing coming up. Now, Civil Beat also has a story on veterans' benefits. You know, they served, in our, uh, they served our country in war, but now Hawaii veterans are in a different battle. What is it? Well, this is a disturbing report. It turns out that cases for veterans that are applying for disability claims, they're backlogged nearly 80%. And that means some veterans are waiting as long as 18 months to have a decision made on those claims. The Veterans Administration tells us it has a lot to do with increased demand, all those soldiers coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. So this is not a problem that's going to go away? Not anytime soon, no. Well, finally, let's talk about fish and tell us about <laughs> this $100,000 fish book that uh, you, me, and other taxpayers paid for. Well, I'd be happy to. Here's the title. It's really sexy. Uh, Ecosystem-based fisheries management in the Western Pacific. <laughs> it's 312 pages long. and actually only costs $210 for the hard copy. The reason for the $100,000, however, is because the federal agents, gee, that paid for the book, paid for an editor to do all the editing, and also agreed to buy a bunch of copies back from the publisher. So that's why taxpayers get stuck with that bill. Wow, and uh, who, I mean, you know, I'm sure some people might find it interesting. Who's going to read a book like that? <laughs> That's a good question. It was written uh, by the federal agency that oversees the commercial fisheries here in the islands. So presumably those folks will be scooping them up and they'll find those gifts under their Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> they can fish for it, definitely. Well, are you going to go shopping on this Cyber Monday, Chad? You know, as soon as we get off of Skype, I'm going to go on my iPhone and I'm going to go look for this book. All right. There you go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thanks, Chad. Sure, man. Well, you can find the complete stories that we just discussed on CivilBeat.com. We'll be right back. It is 639.